Welcome back to Bedrock. After days of mining, the stage is now set for a major controlled collapse and the start of construction on the final form of the base. So the plan today is to drop all the excess stone in the fighting room, do a handful of jobs for Trader Jen, then hopefully get the mini bike unlocked and crafted before the end of the day. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze. So let's begin. Right, good morning everyone and welcome back. So here we have all these support pillars that are holding up this massive chunk of stone here. And I last night I finished carving this whole thing out on all four sides. So this is just floating here basically. And in a second, we're gonna collapse it all. But before we do that, there's an important thing we have to do. We have to get our storages off of this shelf here. And I think probably the workbenches might be providing some support. So what we're gonna do is just get everything moved into their basically final position, which will be at this line right here. So what that consists of, just careful measurement on the back side here, we're gonna start carving in. I'm gonna go in maybe like 10 meters or so and then open up just a small room in the back that we can just basically just throw all of our stuff in there. I feel like we're doing pretty good. I usually don't even begin my base construction until day 14 or day 21. So I feel like we're already well ahead of the game in that regard. And it's from here that I can kind of demonstrate the final form of the base. So basically I had an original design and then I was like, you know what? We need an auger <laughs> to do all the carving to do that. And we're not gonna have that for quite a while. So I'm gonna simplify things just a little bit. It's still gonna be pretty cool, I think. Basically, we're going to have a crafting room like right about here in the middle, kind of directly behind our main fighting position. And then we're going to have beneath that at bedrock level will be our farm do collectors and the garage and then an entrance to the garage will lead out toward the city that is to the north and like there would just be a ramp going all the way up to that road that's kind of like right behind where our base entrance is i also noticed last night that i do know how to craft steel tools now so we could i, I think i'm at level two steel tools i'd like to get level three because then i can put two mods on it so you know three or four probably would be a good place to start off with the steel pickaxe in fact i do have skill points this morning i have two of them i'm going to spend those directly into strength so our next point can go into minor 69 or max that out all right so now the process is we got to get everything stored back up here got a whole bunch of extra storage chests it's going to be really really sloppy for now but we'll get around to organizing and everything later on so yesterday the fun pimps released the first patch so we're now on uh, beta branch 317. the other notable thing in the patch notes was that they they've reduced the magazines and books found in like everything so that would be trader bundles that would be uh, in, in fact it's not even a guarantee anymore in the trader bundles so or uh, in your quest rewards, I should say. I'm gonna keep the central column because this is where I'm gonna stand when we're doing the collapse. I think this is probably the safest spot for me. All right, cameraman is requesting lights. So let's get some lights put up, uh, I don't know, in this corner over here, maybe somewhere. And then uh, kind of opposite of it over here. Should be good. All right, in three, two, one. Start ripping these things up. It's coming down now. All right, get into position in the middle. Oh yes, it's working perfectly. Excellent. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have any unexpected collapsing here. Yes, very nice. Okay, there probably will be a screamer now, so be cautious of that. Make sure we're loaded here. We're good. All right, well, I don't see anyone. I don't hear anyone just yet, but uh, keep your eyes peeled and we'll have to kind of clean all this stuff up. Might as well just get this over with now. So I made a video recently and Kane commented on it because we were talking about screamers and how when the heat on a chunk reaches 100%, a screamer will spawn and what Kane told me is that it's not a guarantee and of course you know we always speculated this because there's a lot of times when you're mining and just you never see a screamer even though you've definitely generated enough heat so that basically confirms it there must be a randomized chance and I don't know what that chance is I always kind of thought that it was just a bug like okay the screamer was supposed to spawn but she didn't spawn but I guess it is kind of a game mechanic all right, that just about does it. Now we just need to get a system to get up to our base here, and I think we're all set. We can go do some missions today. All right, just tend to the garden a little bit and tend to the Duke collectors, and I'll meet you over there. Jennifer, the Dukes. what do you got today? Time. We're on the tier threes now. So we got fetch and clear to the northeast. It's pretty close by. We've also got the Kosteki residence, I guess. No, I, I'd rather not do residential but i do kind of want to do the infestation i saw in the patch notes okay laundry oh college jacket maybe sure we'll do that yeah i read in the patch notes that they've made some changes to infestation i think they uh, they've uh, adjusted the game stage boost that you get from doing an infested clear 
which I'm not even sure what that was to begin with. Never really caught on to that in the game files. Anyway, I'll meet you over at the laundromat. Ah, here it is. Okay, laundry. And it appears to be, yes, in the downtown. Although, I don't see a damn zombie anywhere. I don't know if I've seen a zombie all day. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, just... Sometimes you gotta make sure because uh, maybe we're not getting zombies anymore because of some patch update or something. All right, let's hit this. Wait, uh, hit the newspaper stand first, see what we get out of that. Oh, just paper, I see. Okay. Well, let's try it again and see what we get this time. Come on. Yeah, there we go, okay. So it's just a, it's probably like less, less of a percent chance to get something out of it. All right. Bundles of clothing, this is basically what we're here for. Hopefully we can pull out, uh, you know, some dye would be nice at this point, and college jacket would be nice. Otherwise, I think I'm good on the clothes. And we've got the duster, which... Probably the duster is like, whoa, there's a cop somewhere. What's going on? Ah! Oh, is that a feral or something? Uh, it is, it is. Uh, oh geez, hold still for a second. You be hard, it's you be hard, the crawler zombie. All right, knock him out, that's a feral too, so careful now just just die there we go done are you just getting up you lazy bastard yep just whoop, look out for that there we go <laughs> yes the uh the whole naming mod that's been quite the fiasco getting that working the way that i want it to so appreciate your patience on that but it's fully operational now step away from the bicycle yeah i was talking about no zombies and now i can't get rid of them all yeah once we um finish up this one more point into minor 69er i think i'm gonna go into perception a little bit so that we can do lucky looter again and salvage operations again because the whole stamina cost when wrenching is really it just stinks i don't like it oh okay oh i've been here before haven't i everything just looks different like i i get deja vu that i've been here before but at the same time it's like wow I, I just, there's so much new stuff that i my brain gets confused which honestly is great because replayability is like the most important thing to me in games and um, you know updates like this have just exponentially increased how much longer I can play the game before I get sick of it. Oh, this just goes outside. Oh, and okay, that's locked. Just kind of harvesting as I go. I think this will be the only mission for today and then we'll ooh, working vending machine there and we'll just kind of go back to the base and um I don't know what we'll do tonight. I don't really want to do much more mining until I get the steel pickaxe. Ooh, not too bad. Yeah, these little piles of books here. Oh, they're still really good. Okay, vehicle adventures and handy land. This is a repair tool. So we've already gone really far on the repair tools. We kind of need, what do we need? Harvesting tools. We need a few more of those. If we could just get that up by like five magazines and get the level three or four, I think I'd, I'd feel a lot better about that. And, uh, geez, I don't know. We, I guess we can purchase a rock buster. Certainly not for the stone, but if we ever go mining for coal, that would be probably the thing to have. Missed one, though. Ooh, geez, Killer Joe with the friggin' muscles here. Okay, that's the satchel right there. Good thing, because I always forget that I'm looking for that. Okay, we're on to level two. That's a trap if I've ever seen one. Oh, that... Does that still make a ton of noise, even if you try to harvest it? I mean... That does make sense. Ooh, hello. Is that a biker over there? That's somebody over there. Take that. Sharp Sticks magazine. <laughs> That's like my my second one that I found. Key box there. I have no idea what that went to. Oh, that went to this door right here on my left. Otherwise, we're locked in here, it looks like. I haven't found a single pure mineral water playing yet. I'm not sure if that's just not on the loot table and it's craft only now. Another vehicle adventure magazine. Excellent. We need three more. Shotgun weekly as well. Cool. Oh, that reminds me. We're supposed to be crafting a new shotgun because I think we're, we can do level four now of the pump shot or the, um, the dubsy. We'll have a look at that when we get back home. I'm not sure what the steel situation is, but I feel like it's pretty good. I love those TVs. Okay, so far this has been more residential than it has been laundromat, which kind of surprises me. Also, haven't been feeling very threatened so far. I don't want to speak too soon, though, because anything could happen here. Uh-oh. Whoa! Big man came barreling through the wall. Let him burn for a second, I guess. Oh, we got more stuff breaking, though. I might be surrounded. 
ish. Ah, uh, just businessman here. Well, it's unlocked. By the way, what, what was going on in here? Locked? Okay, just a locked bathroom with like... Oh, an ammo pile. Two of them. Excellent. Glad I jumped back there. Okay, this is the indication. Ooh, I like this portion. Wow, okay, we can still gotta go to the rooftop too. And it's starting to get late. Wiring 101, up to 32 on that one. I think that's influenced by the advanced engineering skill, so that's why I'm getting so much of that stuff. Come on out of there, Tommy. I wanna see what these new servers give you. Iron, electrical parts, and polymer. And we just leveled up, so that's gonna go directly into a minor 69er. Maxed out. So we should be finding tool magazines more than anything else, I would say, by now. Okay, enter through here. Are we reloaded? We're good. I'm getting nervous, because, like I said, things have not been going too bad so far. Oh, jeez. There we go. Feral. Who's that? Average Brody. Just close that. Get out of here, Brody. I thought that was a piece of trash. It's freaking Brody's head right there. Bipod schematic. Wiring, tech junkie, and electrical traps. Oh, I see bird shadows. Are those like POI birds or just, yeah, I think they are. Get out of here. Yep. Oh, there's a couple of rooftops we can jump around to. Is this all the same place or? No, that's a whole new POI over there. That might be close to the main loot too. Too bad I don't have an eye candy. Okay, um, not sure what's going on here. So we've got like a ladder going up. We've got this here for a knife guy and a hunter's journal. I think I had already read that. I accidentally read it again though. Extra egg. No, no, we don't need to go down there for anything. There's really nothing down there. We're going up here. Oh, I just heard a lot of crap breaking. Was that you? What? Did he walk up the fire escape maybe? Oh, that's Pascal, that's a feral. Whoops, oh, don't need to be breaking blocks here. Okay, oh, I've got a lot of zombies in the compass here. Okay, things seem to be going rather well so far. Just reload, finish them off. Well, the mission is over. Return to Trader. Just grab up whatever loot we can here, and we're out of here heading home. Gumbo stew there. Or hobo stew, I should say. We're in. What's going on here? Oh, forge ahead and vehicles. That's pretty good stuff. Some extra pipe bombs. Yep, yeah, I'll take that. And then I should be able to jump off here no problem, because I've got the dukes in my pocket. That's 15 meters, plus I got impact bracing mod, that's two meters, plus my base safe fall height, which is five meters. So should have no problem. Yep, we're good. Okay, and then just a couple minutes before nightfall, that's another feral. What's that, Casey Douglas. I can tell already that I'm gonna get killed someday just because I'm trying to read the name off of a feral or a rad. <laughs> There's another one, Winter Steel that was. Okay, otherwise I think we're good here. Uh, we're too late to go back to Trader Jen's, unfortunately, so we'll have to hang on to the satchel for her overnight. And, okay, inventory is all clogged up. I wanted to see if I could just do some of these, um, these, uh, mailboxes here before the night's over with. Sniper book here. I think that was AP762. Spear hunter book. Just read that. Keep going. Got a spider coming after me. I kind of want just to avoid scrapping for fun. Avoid killing him. Machine gunner book here. Drum magazines. You can craft those now. And paper. Okay. Yep. Nightfall. Super fast speed for all the zombies. Hmm. Could just continue with the whole mailbox thing for a second, though. That sounds like fun. Spear hunter book here. Oh, are we getting back to like just having spear hunter and all those beginner books in the, these mailboxes or what? Needle and thread. Oh no. Is it the same friggin' needle and thread, ranger's guide to archery, and spear hunter books or what? Friggin' hope not. Yeah, shotgun weekly, shotgun crafting skill. That's double barrel shotgun quality five. Okay, that's what we're crafting tonight then. Oh no, here we go. So tech planet and a hunter's journal here. More damage to coyotes, finally. The one book that's gonna help me in that series. Although I have heard a rumor that the, you know the old book that said uh, plus 10% damage to humans and we were all like thinking that, or you know, I, I'll speak for myself there. I was thinking that was for PVP only. I guess they've changed the wording on that to, to say, 10% more damage to humanoids, which includes zombies. And I think the indication was, I just was like reading on Reddit, was that uh, that book was always against zombies. And so I've always been selling off that book thinking it was useless, when in fact it was probably one of the best books in the game. Exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. Whoops. Oh, geez, bird. 
Oh, come on down here. Get what's coming to you. There you go. Okay, the threat level appears to be increasing and it's getting quite dark. Oh, how do you like that street light over there? That looks pretty cool. So anyway, I'll meet you back at the base. We'll find something to do for the night. Oh, speaking of the purified mineral water, that's the purified book right there. Okay, home sweet home. And um, just my impressions so far on this update and the nerf of magazines, I haven't really noticed it. I'm still getting a whole bunch of magazines. I think it's good. They've tried just nerfed it a little bit. I guess we'll see how it all turns out. All right, let me get organized and um, we'll figure out something to do for tonight. All right, first up on the crafting agenda will be to craft the double barrel shotgun, level five. Okay, next up is the steel pickaxe. I'm just gonna roll with the level two for now, just, just to see how it performs, I guess. And we should, if we get a little bit more forged steel, we should have enough to make a level three or four a little bit later on. Okay, so here's the pickaxe. I can only put one mod on it, so that's gonna be the ergonomic grip. And um, we'll see if I'm at least two-shotting here. Yep, I'm two-shotting, but I'm not, I'm one-shotting on the power attack though, which is quite nice. Okay, so with a black strap coffee, I should be able to rip right straight through some of this stuff. Okay, so um, I don't wanna fuss around out here too much today, cause it's gonna be kind of a big construction project. I think all we really have to do for the upcoming day 14 horde, we've got the system in place for them to fall down here. Now we just need a system in place for them to get up here so that we can fight them off a nice kind of sledgehammer position, which means kind of like big and open so you can get that good AOE knockdown effect and then eventually we'll put a whole bunch of traps on the floor and such and then So this ceiling actually is not meant to be so tall This is actually leaving some room for a drop ceiling which will be two two blocks tall or yeah two blocks tall and that will allow us to put some traps and lights and stuff up into the ceiling so yeah it's gonna be Fighting position here. We're gonna do a walkway all the way around like a nice belt around the fighting area And then uh, this will be the crafting room down there will be the farm and the garage and everything and that's that So I guess for the rest of the night tonight, I'm just gonna work on widening this out and um, Yeah, we'll just kind of like play it day by day every day We'll do one sort of big construction project until this is all solidified Okay, so that's as far as I've made it tonight. There's a screamer topside that I've heard kind of wandering around. She's not digging. She's not onto me yet, but we'll need to take care of her eventually. The reason we're getting into gravel here, this is not a mining deposit, but if I look at the map, we're starting to get underneath the road and the road is like lined with gravel. So this is actually stone, but it looks like gravel. It's just, it's always been like that. It's okay. It's not, it's all going to be covered up with wall eventually anyway. So Anyway, I think we're done for today. Let's probably just head topside and we'll wait for Jen to open. All right, where is she? There she is, way, way over there. Third time's a charm? Indeed, got her. Crops are ready, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave them because I want them all to be on the same timer. So we got a whole bunch of extra seeds in here we can throw in once that's done. A little bit of extra water up here. I'm just kind of gonna toss stuff in there, basically. It's gonna be like the... Uh, the the do collector farm box there. All right, Jenny should be open in just a couple seconds. And so this over here is roughly where I think the um, the tunnel will come up. So basically our our garage tunnel will come up and will mesh right directly into this road. I think it'll be pretty cool. Oh, and while I'm here, I need to get these chrysanthemums because we got that book last night that will let that lets us get pure mineral water. So that should hold us over for a while. You all right, amazing. all done. Ooh, I hope you like your whoa. That is a really good steel axe. I'm gonna have to take that. That's gotta, that's definitely gonna be a huge improvement over the fire axe. Uh, come to think of it though, I can craft a tier two, so it's not a huge improvement. It just saves me on the steel to craft it, I guess. All right, new job for today. We're Fetching clear to the north of the fire station. Yeah, that sounds like right up my alley. However, we need to switch this over right now. Maybe it's time to go back to the wasteland for a little bit. Maybe we'll do that this afternoon. We need to go out there. I need to chop wood anyway. I need wood and I need coal. We can get the coal from the trees and then we can maybe find a mining site as well. But for now, it's off to the fire station. All right, here we go. Getting chased by a coyote a little bit here. Come here, buddy. Eat that. Whoops, missed kinda. Ow. Okay, probably need the meat anyway. And before we snap the quest, I was thinking I should probably check these. Yeah, these are all untouched. Look at that. Whoops, I'm out of stamina slightly. All right, what are we gonna get here? Handy land. Yeah, overall, not too bad. I mean, only one of those was empty with only paper in it. 
I can't really tell that things have been nerfed particularly at all. Okay, so let's just read those books. Vehicles up to 19. We could probably get that last book and start working on the mini bike tonight, I would think anyway. What is this? This is a wandering horde, you assholes. Okay, not much out of that. Okay, I think we're clear around the perimeter now. All right, man, this is gonna be a good one. I love this place. What a cool horde base you could turn this into, huh? All right, tier three, fetch and clear. Okay, where are we heading here? In through the door. Yep, and then immediately into a big open room with a fire truck and a hazmat zombie. Whoop, and a soldier. Look at that, ooh, skill point too. Well, we just got level seven in strength, so we should have opened up big and fast and skull crusher and boomstick. Holy cow, we've got a lot of options here. I will take uh, big and fast for now. That's gonna kind of hurt the stamina a little bit, but I'll deal with it. We've always got the dubsy to fall back on and pretty soon we'll be into the pump shotgun era. Look at that, vehicles, that's it right there. Level 20, we can do the mini bike tonight and tools up to 36. So that's gonna progress us a little bit more quickly to getting a Perhaps a quality four steel pickaxe, which will let us put another mod onto it together with our the increased base damage. And I think that might give us one shots with the regular attack on stone blocks to really help in clearing out the base location. Yeah, we'll also need more steel for that, I think, in order to craft the quality four, but probably just buy that from the trader, honestly. Ah, yes, and gas. We have to start collecting gas. Okay, this is, uh, I, I got a couple of zombies on the compass here. Satchel is that way. Oh, geez. I was gonna say, I don't like these kind of <laughs> office-y areas because you know there's probably a zombie in every single one of them. Yep, another one here. Are you supposed to be a firefighter in a hazmat suit? That kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, geez, feral. Oh, that's Yubi Heart again. This guy's everywhere today. Okay, found the satchel and we appear to be relatively safe in here. Famous last words. But, whoops, we appear to be good in here. Spoke too soon, I guess. Any breakfast in here? Just some murky water. What about in here? Nope, that is broken, so I'll just take it with me. Okay, this one up here is locked. We're heading on to second floor now. Take care of that. Okay, this is where the gym is. Okay, so this is where the strong zombies are, if, they're, if that's any indication. Oop, here we go. Oh, I missed the name on that one. You'll have to kinda, you can't blink or else you'll miss it. Damn, man. Got the power today. Otherwise, we're heading back outside. Bird territory out here, I'd say. To the roof of the fire station. What a cool base this would be up here. Wow. Just kind of open air. Set up some kind of a horde base inside. Ooh. Oh, hello. Just main loot right there. Let's um see if I can ricochet one off the wall there for him. Whoop. <laughs> Killing zombies I couldn't even see. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch more over there. Is that another feral? That was, that was Craig Smith. Take care of him. Yeah, see, they're trying to, ooh, there's a whole bunch of ferals here. Sorry, not gonna be able to get all the names here. Wags, this one, and down. Yeah, I'm loving the dubsy here, and that is it. We've cleared the area and retrieved the supplies. Just gotta loot up now. Weighted head mod schematic, that's a good one. Shotgun weekly. And in the final chest. Yeah, and I'm officially in the age now where it's faster to just break in than it is to use lockpicks. And we got another triple mod. Ooh, sledgehammer parts too. Very cool. Okay, that should, um, geez, we're getting really close to unlocking the whole backpack here. Slap that on. And what do we got? We got one, two. We got a single there, a triple there. So we need one more pocket mod. Okay, time for our reward, and I think we'll chance a little, just a probing mission into the wasteland after that. In fact, before we even do that, let's just go craft the mini bike now, get it over with. Okay, Ooh, and the quest reward C, Good yeah, work. she's not giving me the bundles anymore. Huh, okay, well, we were just talking about needing another pocket mod, so I suppose I'll take that one. I'll take a new job and what are we going to do here? Want to do an infested Still clear like you can handle yourself. at the Smithstone si Ooh, point. the silos. Ooh, that's the old frostbite oh, base goodness. location, I think. I right, tomorrow is trader day too. Let me just double check here that there's not a, you know, a book or something that I want. Holy cow, she's got a whole bunch of grenades. Wow. Not even that terribly expensive either. Mini bike chassis? No, because we're going to make that and we could probably make it for a lot cheaper than, you know, five grand. Holy cow! She's uh, definitely, she's upgraded her inventory. Look at all this stuff. 
seal sledgehammer level five uh yeah we we have to get that it, it doesn't get any better than that uh, and, you know unless we find the legendary one i'll get the concrete mix from her okay so what we need to do then go home craft the mini bike come back do the massive sell-off get the awesome sauce the sugar butts everything we'll do a big purchasing spree as well to get the steel sledgehammer Oh, the SMG as well. No, we're, we, oh, there's a flat mini bike right there. Just buy it outright. <laughs> Steak and potatoes. Yeah, there's there's definitely stuff here that we need. No, okay, I'll be right back, bike. Jenny. Mini bike chassis, mini bike handlebars, and we don't have an engine. Of all things, no engine. Well, I'm gonna go get one real fast. There's the engine right there. Okay, well, I'll finish what I started here and then we'll head back. There we go, mini bike, and only a minute to get it. Okay, so that's literally everything I need. I'll take the sugar butt now so that I don't have to carry it. Got the mini bike down, got the fuel into it. Right, park it here, take the awesome sauce. Do the first round of sell-off and the mini bike is absolutely full of more sellables. All right, Jenny, get your pocketbook out. Now that was a good deal. All right, ready for round two. And this helmet here has some mods on it. Of course, you want to put your mods, if you're going to sell your mods, put them onto the highest quality item. Doesn't matter what tier the item is. Quality is what influences uh, value there. So yeah, I got 1700 off of that one little scrappy helmet. And that's it. We are up to, wow, 41, almost 42,000. So first up, let's go for the steel sledgehammer only it's down to nine thousand. what a steal i'm also gonna go ahead and just take a oh yes they've increased the price on the water filters so those are actually still kind of expensive despite all of the bonuses they might have they must have increased that to two thousand, which is i don't think that's terrible at all so i'm gonna take uh two of those that'll put us up to four and that's the final configuration the layout of the base i made has room for four of those Dynamite? No, but where's those grenades? I'll take every one of those. $1,400. That's a steal. Steak and potatoes? Sure. Been saving up my money for this long. Why hold back now? And that concrete mix. Every drop of it, please. And, geez, while I'm at it, I'll take the cooking magazine, the medical journals, and... Uh, nope, that's clubs. Don't need that. And Fireman's Almanac here. Increases attack speed with axes. Sure. Some gunpowder. <laughs> Just going all in today, right? Yeah, we're down to 20 grand. We spent 20 grand. Okay, we're Thanks good. We're done here. Okay, no sense in heading back home. Let's just read these couple of things here. Let's head to the wasteland briefly and do a little bit of perhaps mining and tree chopping. I'll meet you over there. Okay, here we are crossing into the wasteland. Let's just check the map briefly. We're looking for a black dot that would indicate coal. Ooh, this is difficult. There's a lot of black dots because I think like, I don't know, rubble probably comes up as black too. There's lead. Huh, okay, might have to just kind of go cross country i hate to break my mini bike so early on just got the thing oh vending machine over here uh broken although is this one working just for reference here it's uh, working nice i've already bought some coffee so i think i'm good there all right we don't need to go too deep into the wasteland i don't think unless yeah let's check a couple of cars while we're here you never know right not much in that one what about this one over here not much in that one either you know what i'm gonna do though i'm gonna break this cop car and then leave so that the, the zombies will despawn and we'll loot it on the way out of here probably. So just get my escape ready. I think this is the way to do it right here. Just we'll bust it open and we'll flee as fast as possible. There it is and break it further and goodbye. Yeah, we're not fighting feral bikers out here. Are you kidding me? Feral cop? No, no, not at all. And there's a rad janitor over there. Kamikaze Steve and Killer Joe. A recipe for death. Oh, 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 I see one right there. We do gotta pull a slight U-turn. Yes, yes, okay, perfect, that's a coal node. Okay, we just gotta sit here and harvest for a little bit. Starting with the car, nothing good in there. Number two, the zombie, kill him. Number three, start harvesting up the coal. Okay, I can't help but notice that bear is getting really close for comfort. Maybe I convert over to trees for a second and see if he wanders off in the other direction, maybe. Okay, that's 15 coal per tree, which is pitiful compared to the actual mine. Okay, he does appear to be kind of wandering off though, which is good news. Back to the mine. Okay, I'm just about at the point where I've got um, a little over 2,000. Let's shoot for 3,000 and we're gonna get the heck out of here. Okay, on second thought, I think I've mostly exhausted the supply of coal down here. It's mostly iron now, so that will do it for me. 
Done pushing my luck. Let's go home. Okay, here we are. Of course, no zombies. Brilliant. What a good move. And our loot stage should be really, really high. Ooh. Steel sledgehammer, not quite as good as the one I have, which, by the way, I gotta get that switched over. All right. Got another engine off of that cop car there, and I'll take the steel off of this. Oh, that's hilarious. I'll just uh, pull, pull up the footage here. That's the, the cameraman back at the mining site, and a dog just stepped on a landmine. <laughs> Better him than me, because I didn't know that landmine was there. Killed a snake, too, in the crossfire. Cuddle Minsky here. Gotta take you out, sorry, because I really want to see what's in that car right there. Hopefully that's a, in the wasteland, you know, technically. Garrett Wilson here, another feral. Do I dare to let the shotgun round off? Uh, not really. Jeez, okay, maybe I do. Very little choice, okay. What did that do? Doesn't seem like much, but I'm gonna just in a hurry grab this. And a wheel. Surprised that didn't wake any of these guys up. We got Cali Gaming here. Uh, I'll, I'll kill you. Ooh, off with the foot and the head. Okay, that's enough. Goodbye, friends. All right, made it back home. Just gonna harvest up the garden and replant some seeds. Okay, that's the rest of my stuff right there. We went through about a half a tank on the mini bike there, and I put a hay bale down here because that's just gonna increase my uh, speed and getting up and down, I guess. All right, so for the remainder of the night, I'm going to just start getting organized, do a little bit of cooking, crafting, smelting, stuff like that, and I need to reference my sort of like paper. I always draw my bases out on paper first, and so I need to get the measurements and see what we need to do to get this crafting room into its final configuration. And then we'll start building the fighting position in the next episode and prepare for the day 14 horde. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.